Thurma Frisk here, Warlord of Team Bacon. Uh, come here to talk to you about my cleric build on Rift. Uh, right here, I'm just showing you my gear. Nothing really all that spectacular. Just a bunch of crafted greens. Uh, I got a hammer. Uh, I got off a quest reward off of a harbinger in Stonefield. It's pretty damn cool. Sorry about the lag. Fraps fucks with, with Vent on my computer, but uh, whatever. Now, uh, this build I'm using is a mix between Justicar and Shaman. I just got Ward in there, Warden in there for the hot. And uh, what you do is you use uh, Main of Leadership in Justicar, in the Justicar tree, in conjunction with uh, Even Justice, or Even Balance. What's it called? Well, it's a spammable AoE attack. And uh, you unlock it at about 20 points into Justicar. Make sure you get the talent that pumps it up so it hits as many targets as possible. And, then get you some defensive talents out of that same, out of that same tree, just to make it that much more tougher. Uh, you got the, you know, the shield talent, and then you got the parry talent right there. You want to get the, you want to pick those up. You want to be as tough as possible with this build. And then uh, pick up Glacier Shield in the Shaman Tree, just to give you a little bit of helps you tank. And uh, Purpose and Justicar and Ageless Ice. You, after you get Main of Leadership and Even Balance, you want to work towards getting Ageless Ice. Because Aegis Lies and Purpose are copies of one another. And uh, you want to have enough mana. And that's what they do. They restore your mana with everything you hit. And with this build, even though it is pretty damn idiot proof, uh, as soon as you run out of mana, you, you're fucking dead. So you need to make sure you keep your mana going. And Purpose and Aegis Lies are going to do that for you. And uh, as you can see, this build pretty much involves jumping into the middle of of a bunch of monsters and spamming even justice and just just kicking the dog shit out of them and uh, under the effect of mean leadership you're gonna be real tough and you're gonna generate a whole lot of threat so it's not really that thinking of, uh, of a, a cleric build it's just good for leveling because in rift you can't just run around you know killing everything one by one as a cleric because it's gonna take you fucking forever you know so it's more efficient to actually fight six or seven monsters with this build than it is to just fight one. Because you're going to kill them exactly as fast. So you might as well just do something like this and just fight everything in the damn world at the same time, you know. Instead of instead of doing it one by one like you're some kind of, you know, what are you, what are you like a rogue or something? Come on. You're, you're a cleric, dude. You know, you're tough as hell. You don't do a whole lot of damage, but you can fight fucking 12 monsters at one time and do like this. Rocking and rolling, you know. You jump in there, you spam even balance, even justice, whatever the hell it's called. You know, you spam it over and over and over. It keeps the heals coming in. It keeps the heals coming in, keeps you alive. That's the reason why you're so tough as a cleric, is because, you know, you got those heals coming in. See right here, I see another cleric, and, you know, he's doing the same thing as me, but, uh, it might be rude to just pull off of him like that, but I saw he, he wasn't wearing a shield, so, you know, I figured. I figured he was, uh, you know, one of those Healy clerics, so, you know, I just pulled the stuff off of him. And, uh, look, look at a fucking skeleton pulling off of me, that's cool. Skeleton take the hits, I don't mind. You know, this is just us screwing around, you know, with invaders. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it right here, and, uh, this is us screwing around on rifts, uh, trying to get the rifts closed. There's a couple of elites mixed in this group. And, uh, as you can see, I pretty much, uh, I alternate, just spamming that AoE attack. Keeping those heals coming in, keeping that aggro up on everything, while these other guys just burn it, burn it straight to hell. And uh, you, you'll see up here. Uh, if you know how to adjust the car works, you don't really need an explanation about righteous mandate. But uh, you know, I, I, when I'm tanking, I really use righteous mandate to to drop <coughs> to drop a spike heal because you know if there's another healer around, he's got the job done. So uh, I really shouldn't have, but you know, I did anyways. I was like, fuck it, you know. Uh, Fucking badass, I'm just gonna do it anyways. You know, see, I'm just tanking these guys. I think the healer in this group was, uh, I think it was Claromancer. Uh, might have been another cleric, I don't know. But, uh, hey, you see, we're just we're just rolling through these things. They're, they're you know, a couple level, levels lower than me, but, uh, you know, they make up for it with numbers. Uh, you're, yeah, right here, the same thing. Same thing, wash and reprints. Uh, rinse and repeat, that's what I'm saying. Rinse, rinse and repeat, fuck. And, uh, you know, you just jump right in there and you, you just start hitting everything. You just start throwing punches, kicking and shit. You know, you kick them in the throat. There you go. Hey, see, look at these guys trying to get away. I'm like, hey, fuck you. You ain't going nowhere, buddy. Get in here. I got some I got some AOE attacks to spam all over your ass. 
That's what you do. You just jump in. You see all the little green numbers and shit flying around all over the screen. You know, I'm healing me. I'm healing everyone around me. That's how it works. The only bad part is if they're not in my group, they're not going to get healed. I can't heal anybody that's not in my group. So, you know what? Hey, it's their fault. And, uh, there's another cleric running around right now. You know, he's pulling everything off of me. And, you know, I don't really know what's going on at the time. I'm kind of just, like, shit in my pants because, you know, there's monsters and shit running around all over the place. You know, we're fighting. They're all going to this town right, up, right over my right shoulder. And there's about three guys up there just sitting up there fucking playing dice or something. I don't know what they're doing. They're defending the town. You know, I don't want the I don't want the town to fall. You know, I got a quest to turn in there later. I can't turn it in. There's just fucking trolls and shit running around all over the place. So you know, we got to do this. We got to close this rift here. But uh, yeah, there's this other cleric. I didn't notice it at the time, and uh, this is just me being courteous. But uh, if you notice another cleric, you know, he's doing the same things you do. He's tanking a bunch of shit. You know, he's throwing punches, kicking kicking people in the face and shit. You can't hold your aggro. You might as well just go ahead and. And be courteous and let him do the tanking. Because, you know, if he's got a higher level than you, you're not going to pull off of him. Because his skills are higher than yours. He's generating more threat. There's nothing you can do about it. So, you know, if he wants to tank the whole fucking world, just go ahead and let him. Let him do it. And, you know, you switch over, you heal his ass. You switch over, you switch your mean over to the main of, uh, main of honor, whatever the hell it's called. You know, to get your heals going. And, uh, you know, you heal his ass. You keep him alive. It's all about teamwork, guys. No one's trying to be... You, you're not trying to measure your dick on this one. You know, it's about teamwork. You want to get the job done. You know, if you keep if you keep fucking around, you know, and everyone's arguing about who's going to be the tank, you're not going to have a good group cohesion. You know, you lose group cohesion. And, uh, you know, the mages, they can't AOE everything down. The healers got to waste more, they got to waste more mana because everyone's screwing around trying to figure out where all the fucking monsters are going because you got two tanks. You know, if he's, if he's about to die, yeah, you take it over. But if he can handle it, if he's got, if he's got this shit on lockdown, don't fuck with him. Just keep him alive. If, if a real tank shows up, bow to him and let him do it. Let him do his job. You know why? Because when the real tank shows up, that's what he's there to do. He's there to tank. You're not a tank. You're a healer. And you just kind of look like a tank sometimes. You, you, fuck, you moonlight as a tank. That's how you do it. You know, you, you might be a tank now. You might have a little skill that turns you into a tank. But like I said earlier about fighting one thing, you're not a damn rogue. So keep in mind, you're not a tank either. You know, a warrior shows up, he can probably do that job a lot better than you can. So, you know, don't fuck around with the warriors. Don't don't taunt off of them and shit. Let them do their job. Switch your main over and keep his ass alive so you guys can get just get through it. All right? Well, that's enough for me. I'm going to go ahead and log off of this, bitch. Maybe I'll make you another video. You, you like my build? Cool, leave me a comment. You don't like my build? Then go fuck yourself. How do you like that?